Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Wall with your Fox 10 News Now update. The search intensifies for missing mobile man Richard Horn. He was last seen a month ago. His sister Vicki Gray is pleading for your help. Gray says her brother Rick has been missing since April 26th. He was last seen on Howells Ferry Road in Mobile County. Gray says her brother suffers from a mental condition that could impair his judgment and she says it's not like him to stay away for this long. Go rescue a local volunteer search search and rescue team joining in the search for Horn. The group put up a billboard on airport in Schillinger and they're even offering $500 for anyone who can help find him. If you have seen Horn, you're asked to please call the Mobile County Sheriff's Office right away. Foley police arresting three men for breaking into cars at an apartment complex. Apparently, they weren't hard to find. Police say that they found a Carson Mahone hiding in a car near the scene. Investigators say the other two, Gregory Strong and Preston Walker, were found passed out in another car. Police say Walker had meth and also a powdered substance believed to be heroin. In addition to the three counts of breaking and entering a motor vehicle, Walker is also charged with two counts of possession of a controlled substance. The owners of Stone Experts, hoping you can recognize the man you see on your screen there. Security cameras were rolling, catching the would-be thief stealing in broad daylight. Business owners say he stole several pieces of granite from their property along Three Notch Road in Mobile. If you know or know him or know anything about him, you're asked to please call Mobile Police. Hurricane season is only a week away, and when Baldwin County's emergency management director, Zach Hood, talks about hurricanes now, he's not just imparting professional expertise. He's speaking from his own personal experience. Hood was in the Baldwin County Operations Center in September, managing Baldwin County's response to Hurricane Sally while his house was taking on water. Hood says the house stood on about three inches of water. He says he had to relocate his family of five until the damage could be fixed. We're actually displaced from the home up until last weekend. Uh, it's still not completely ready. We don't have things like a kitchen sink and some plumbing in the kitchen and the, the stove's not hooked up. But nonetheless, we're, we're in the four walls of what we call home. Hood says he knows he's not alone. Many other Baldwin County residents are still displaced or still trying to secure repairs as we enter yet another hurricane season. Hood says Baldwin together is a group that can help people displaced by hurricanes and other natural disasters. Our meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 storm track report starting the morning off rain free. No showers showing up on the radar and it will be another day where we're not expecting any rain even in the afternoon, but temperatures will be cranking up into the upper 80s once again later this afternoon. Surface high pressure off the east coast is keeping us dry and protecting us from any rain or storm activity and things have been starting off pretty decent as far as morning temperatures go, but the afternoons have been warm, but we're going to see those morning temps crank up later Later this week as the humidity rises and that could bring back a few scattered showers and storms over the Memorial Day weekend. Here's what we've got for your weather headlines this morning. There will be the chance of some patchy fog as we move in toward the afternoon. The weather dry and warm and as we move forward into the days ahead, we'll be heading into Memorial Day weekend that unofficial start of summer. Let's go through the Fox 10 future cast where we will have some morning clouds. And then as we go into the afternoon, we will see sunshine and a few more scattered clouds. Same thing for overnight tonight and into your Wednesday, but no signs of any rain. Here's a look at how the next seven days are going to stack up for you. The highs will be in the 88 to 90 degree range from today through Friday. Morning temperatures will move into the mid to upper 60s, so we see the humidity cranking up. And then as we move in toward the weekend, we get a few isolated pockets of rain back, but nothing overwhelming. No major chances of and storms showing up between now and Memorial Day Monday. Now we're going to keep you up to date on your forecast throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now.